Alarming report from the NTSB. A series of wrong decisions made in the massive train derailment in East Palestine. They went even as far to say the venting of the cars that burn off shouldn't have happened, leaving many people asking, what if? Katie Tursik has the new developments. People here in East Palestine have many more questions, but today they were able to move closer to closure. I talked to many people that say this is a step in the right direction. It's just, it's gotten horrible, gotten very horrible here. I, I just hope that the people of East Palestine get justice for what has happened. NTSB's shocking report disturbing those who live in East Palestine. To the community at large, on behalf of the NTSB, I'm so sorry that this happened. We are so sorry that this happened here. Our hearts are with you. Today, NTSB shared their East Palestine train derailment findings. First responders and neighbors were in the hot zone for two hours. News that infuriates residents like Barbara Carr. We lost our dogs within a month, month and a half of the derailment. And I've seen a lot of people that are having breathing problems and trouble breathing. NTSB says the pressure release valves on the tanks carrying the dangerous chemical vinyl chloride were corroded. They were not compatible with vinyl chloride. If they hadn't corroded, the burn off would not have happened. The initial tank car that caught fire should not have been in use. NTSB says it was suggested years ago railroads remove this type of tank car due to its unacceptable safety record. The tank car is dot 111. Norfolk Southern had been advised by the company responsible for vinyl chloride that the tank was stable, but Norfolk Southern misinterpreted the information and the tank did not need to be vented. We don't wait for a death or injury to occur. We bring safety issues to the forefront and make recommendations that, if implemented, would prevent the next train derailment or fire. In East Palestine, Kay Tersek, 19 News. Now, coming up first at four, Dan DeRose giving us a closer look at that NTSB meeting, how board members voted on the final findings, and we look ahead to the community meeting that's happening later tonight.